Only the Bantu tribes in Africa are real Hebrew Israelite descendants who speak the Niger Congo family of languages. The Somali Bantu tribe are descendants of Hebrews taken by Arab Muslim slave traders. The Hausa and Fulani tribes are descendants of ancient Assyrians. Plus, in Nigeria, there is a remnant of Edomites. I know a lot of people say Esau is the white man, but they do not know African history. Also, I believe a remnant in North Sudan and Saudi Arabia. I do believe that Edo and Idoma are Bantu Hebrews, but not Israelite, but Edomite. The people of Edom currently settled in the Savannah region of Nigeria. They are not a missing race because I come from the tribe of Edom. The spelling has changed over the years from Edomia to Edoma, but the pronunciation is still the same. The name Aduma is still widely used in the present Edoma. Esau, whom the Edomas came from, had two wives. He married from the land of Canaan. The first wife was called Ada. Ada is a name that is still commonly used by Edomas. Ada is the first daughter of any family in Edoma. The name Edorm is pronounced as Edorm, which means my kind of person. Elah is one of the princes of Edorm. He was the son of Ada. But today the spelling of Elah has changed, but some of the people still spell it the old way. My surname is Ela, but the spelling has been changed to Ela. We are the people of Edom. Our tradition is the same with the Old Testament tradition of Israel. We have only one God who is in heaven. We traded in salt and worked with copper as copper was used as currency at that time. We were told by our fathers that we left our land because of war. We are spread over three states in Nigeria. We tease those that went further south uh, that they left us because they went to look for salt. Our women were very hairy with thick black hair before they started perming their hair with chemicals. The stripped Jewish cloth was our cloth until my father changed the color to red and black. When I asked my father why, he told me it was because of the red soil. The soil of the area we settled in Nigeria is also very red. Some of our names sound very much like Israeli names, for example, Anita and Onyahu sound very much like Netanyahu. Our customs include the peace offering and sin offering and most of the practices by Israel in the Old Testament. There would certainly be discordant notes when the issue of whether the Edoma speaking people of Nigeria are descendant of Esau is raised. In other words, could there be any historical link between the Edoma and the Biblical Edom? Only very few people would give the researcher any hearing ear over such an issue. The reasons are legion, but most obvious is the hatred built up against Esau and his descendants in the Bible. Edo monarchs demonstrate strong affinity with ancient Egyptian gods and pharaohs, with which they share identical authority, grandeur, and a great deal of reverence from their subjects. Like the pharaohs, Edo monarchs are god kings. Because they are god kings and god sons, they are considered divine and worshipped by their subjects, who speak to them always with great reverence, at a distance, and on bended knees. Great ceremonies surround every action of the Edo king. The kings of the Bini also adopt Osirian titles of the open eye, signifying omniscience and omnipotence. Edo monarchs, when they transit to the beyond, are like Egyptian pharaohs, set up in state in a linked series of underground chambers, surrounded with paraphernalia of power and all the items they would require for their comfortable sojourn in the ethereal world. Edo, Edomite, Edoma, Edumia are all related words. The Greek called the inhabitants of this region Edo means people with reddish skin tone. The ancient name of Edo is Edu. Edu was a progenitor of the Edo or Edoma. Hence the expression Edoma, the father of the Edoma. The royal lines of the Edo have been orally transmitted. Edu begot six sons, Anana Bugino, who begot the children of Igumali, Alinagwo, who begot the people of Ogboji, Edum, who begot the people of Adoka, Agabi, who begot the people of Atukpo, AJ who begot the people of Oglivo, ABB who begot the people of Umogidi in Adoka, and Ode who begot the people of Yala. The point of origin of humans is Africa and from the beginning humans exhibited a wide range of physical traits including skin color, hair texture, eye shape, etc. Hassan are one of the oldest people groups of Africa and they have a yellow skin tone. 
The people of Upper Nile had both black and red skin tones. Images of black and red Nubians appear on ancient Egyptian monuments. Petri's study of ancient images suggested to him that Egypt was the product of racial mixture. He found images of Nubians in which some have black skin, others red skin, and some have brown skin. This confirmed what had been discovered by the 1828 Franco-Italian expedition to Egypt led by Jean Francois Champollion and Ippolito Rossellini. Below is a detail from one of Rossellini's drawings showing both black and red Nubians taken captive by Egyptians under Ramesses II. The red skin tone is especially evident in people of haplogroup R1b. Among these people were the Edo of Nigeria and Beni and the Edomites. The Edo and Edomites are related genetically. These are among Abraham's ancestors who came out of Africa. These were originally river peoples who moved along the river systems and mountain ridges. They disappeared rather widely and settled in different regions including Tigris, Euphrates River Valley and Southern Europe. Some lived in the red city of Petra the capital of Nabataean territory in Edo. Moreover, with Israel coming under Greek, Persian, and later Roman rule and dependency, renewed waves of Jewish refugees, including traders and artisans, began to set up more communities in Egypt. Cyrenaica, Nubia, and Punic Empire, notably in Carthage, from Carthage they began to scatter into various historically established as well as newly emerging Jewish communities south of the Atlas Mountains nearer to the modern day Mauritania, Niger, Mali, Nigeria, Senegal, Cameroon, and Congo. Several Jewish nomadic groups also moved across the Sahara from Nubia and the ancient kingdom of Kush towards West Africa. Various East and West African na ethnic nations lay verifiable claims to their Jewish ancestral heritage. The Falashas, the most famous of those black Jews, have been validated. Close to 300,000 of those black Falasha Jews live in the modern state of Israel as practicing Jews. The Limbas of South Africa, another so-called Bantu tribe, have a cogent and valid claim to Jewish ancestry and heritage backed by solid genetic evidence the prevalence of the so-called Kohan Model J group. The Limbas as a group are indistinguishable from their Bantu neighbors, suggesting that the most Bantu groups possess this archetypal Jewish and genetic haplogroup. It implies that there are potentially more bloodline Jews on the continent of Africa than anywhere else, including modern Europe and Israel.